Welcome to Giant Stadium for the second qualifying final of Leo's Nap Challenge. It's the Giants up against the Cats. So Cats could have an early start. Seven seconds into the game. We're now 10. Kicking it along was a good one. The two-on-one Giants player should have done better. Yeah, he should have done better. So 30, I don't know his name. Kicks it inside the four. Straight to the square. Giants played it and put up a challenge. Tommy Hawkins got the ball in his hands. And this should be a definite first goal for the Cats. Oh, close to the post, but he's put it through. Cats get the first. So Cats could have another chance here to get two quick ones in a row. Kicking it wide. He has a pretty good kick to Motlop. He plays on. Kicks it inside the fourth and that's a beautiful piercing ball. And now the Cats have another chance to get another goal. 45 metres out, kicks on the way, and that's straight through the middle of the gals. Mitch Clark gets a second for the Cats. And that's another holding the ball to Adam Trelaw. He needs to be dragged for the rest of the game. Yeah, he does. So now the banging ball. It's a good, pretty good kick to Moddy. He hand passes it straight to the opposition. That wasn't good at all. 80 metres out from the goal. Kicks it inside the forward. It's a good mark to Patton, who plays on, runs to 20, and misses. What a cunt. Giants in the defensive half. They've got to get it out of there. That's a good kick to the forward half now. So they've gone from defensive to attacking half of the ground in just one kick of the ball. One minute 33 on the clock. Kicks it to just outside the 450. Now this could be super goal territory. He's got a one-on-one -on -one in the square. Will he go to it? Yes, he will. Let's go through. It's super goal! The first one of the final series and it goes to the Giants. Good kick as well. He doesn't play on. I thought he did for a second. Kicks to the center of the ground. That's a good kick. 50 seconds ago now. Geelong by two points. The margin kicks out of the day. There we go. There it is. And now the Giants could take the lead. Waste no time at all. Kicks it. And he snuck it in. Giants in front just like that. Giants still going to work it up the ground here. There's the kick. That's the kick inside the forward 50. Now this is super goal territory again. There's another one-on-one -on -one in the goal square. I reckon he should kick it. Goes for home. That's another one. Giants have two super goals. So the Giants could have another chance at kicking another goal in this game. Kicks it. And that's a good mark inside the 450. It was uncontested, so it was really an average mark. Mumford. Oh, that's a beautiful kick. And it's another one for the Giants. They're dominating this second quarter with a super goal and a normal goal. 2-2-2 two, 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 to 2-2. Two, two. Have you ever heard that scoreboard before? So two minutes to go on the board. Giants kicks it inside the forward. 50. And there's a mark. Now this is super goal territory again. Well, he's got no one in the goal square. No, he centers the ball and it's a good kick. Well, if he went for the super goal, the Giants fans would have been up in their seats and they would have been celebrating, but they're still going to be celebrating after that one. Giants get another. Well, I'll tell you what, the Giants have absolutely turned this game around after Geelong's two quick goals in the first quarter. And that's another forward 50 entry. Well, it could be all over early. That's another goal to the Giants. They're dominating the second quarter. So Geelong, they need a motivational speaker at halftime. There's one minute and five seconds to go. It's 28 points the margin. Geelong have, uh, sorry, Giants have dominated this second quarter. There's a kick inside the fourth. Really. Tommy Hawkins tries to dive at the ball, but the Giants might mix it up in the defensive line. But yeah, as I was saying, Geelong need a motivational speaker. They need some sort of, you know... I don't even know, activist or something. They need someone to, you know, really hype them up. And I'm not sure if an activist is going to do that. Never mind, change of plans. They need the coach to scream at them at halftime. Scream at the top of his lungs and say, get your head together. Stop sitting on your ass and get the ball inside the forward 50. And that's a kick inside the forward 50 for the Giants. And now it's a ball up. Kicks it inside the forward 50. So the Giants have a chance here to really extend out the margin. Well, if he gets this, it'll be a miracle. And he's got it! Five seconds ago, Geelong are going to lose, probably. Geelong need a motivational speaker. And did they get it at halftime? We're going to find out in this quarter. There's a holding the ball. That's where they need to start. Yeah, it is where they need to start. So four minutes, 50 to go. They've got the ball in, in their hands in the first 10 seconds of the quarter. They are trailing by a lot. They are trailing by 34 points. I repeat, 34 points. It's a big margin for the kick inside the forward 50. It's a good one. So they need a goal here to get it back to 28 points. To cancel out that goal that the Giants kicked with five seconds ago, Mitch Clark makes a statement. And that's another one. That's holding the ball again against Adam Trelaw. He's had numerous holding the balls against him. Kick inside the forward 50. Tommy Hawkins is there. And he takes the mark. So this could be two consecutive goals for the Cats. 40 metres out. Kicks on the way. And he gouts it. 
He gets it. And it's 22 points. Another ball. Another ball. Geelong have kicked two goals in a minute. Can they make it three goals in a minute and a little bit? Here's Motloppi. It's 22 points to the margin. He kicks it inside the board. Really, where's Tommy Hawkins? There he is at the back of the contest. Giants player, whoever that is. I reckon he's had two of those siders today. And that's three goals in one minute and a quarter of a minute. Well, the Cats, they've worked their way back into this game superbly. And they have another chance to go inside the forward 50. Well, they're going out. They're doing their tactic. They're going out wide to Motlop. 3.18 on the board. They only trailed by 16 points now. It was 34 at half time. So they've definitely employed a motivational speaker. And that's another Kings other 40. This is super goal territory. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. 46. Can he get the goal? Torps it and he misses. So Geelong have a chance here. That's kicked just outside the forward 50. But he's got a vacant goal square. Well, there's two players falling back into it now. And here's one of them. Here's the Geelong one. And this could get it back to a 10-point margin. Well, Geelong have uh, worked their way back brilliantly. And got it! Tommy Hawkins has been influential. Holding the ball! What a clawing back effort we've seen from the Cats here in the third quarter. Second quarter was owned by the Giants, but the third quarter is being owned by the Cats. And this could get it back to four points, Tommy Hawkins. Sneaks it in, and it's already four points of difference. Bowl. And that's another holding the bowl. Can Geelong work their way back from 34 points down at half time to be leading by two with 50 seconds to go in the third quarter? Tommy Hawkins, he's got to be man of the match if Geelong win. That's going to go through for another, and the Cats have the lead back. Good kick to about 55 metres out. They've got half a minute, Geelong. Can they possibly get another goal kick set inside the 450? Mitchie Clark has three to deal with. So you have to forgive him on that occasion. But Geelong have got two players and neither of them could pick it up. That's pretty piss poor from them. Poor defending. Oh, sorry, poor attacking and that's holding the ball. Geelong is shit. Can the Giants try and get it down there end with eight seconds to go? They've got to hurry the hell up, though. Banging ball inside the 50. And this could be a problem for Geelong. He lines them up. And he's missed it. It's a one-point ball game heading into the final quarter. So here we go. Final quarter. It's one point the difference in favour of Geelong. Who is going to win this game? I've got no idea. Giants have the early kick on the forward 50. And that's good. Eight seconds, that's all it took him to get inside the forward 50. And Patton will line up from about 25 to kick the goal. But he's missed it. And scores are level. So scores are now level 20 seconds into this final quarter. What? Oh, and it's been turned over. Well, that's, we saw it last game. And the Giants don't make them pay. Well... They should have kicked the goal there, but the Giants now lead with two quick behinds in a row. So this is going to be a big, big final quarter. Giants player bangs it to the middle of the ground with three and a half minutes to go. Scores a level. Well, this is probably the most exciting game we've seen throughout Leo's Nap Challenge. Scores a level, 54 each, and that's a mark to Cameron. Oh, he plays on, runs to 45, and boots it home. That was unexpected. So the Giants have a chance here. They already lead by five points, but they're going to want an extra goal. And this could be the chance with two minutes and ten seconds to go. 33, don't know his name. He lines up and puts it through, and it makes it that just much more harder for the Cats. Well, now it's 11 points to the margin. What are you going to do if you're a Cats uh, player? And if you're a Cats coach, what are you going to try and do? There's a ball up. Two minutes and one seconds to go in the centre of the ground. Cats have got to kick two goals if they're going to want to lead in this game. Well, it's going to be good. That's good evasion. Drop the ball cleverly. Got to kick it inside the forward 50. Well, that's just as good as a kick. Cats play probably should have marked it. It's right on the 50. Who's going to get it? Giants play is going to get it. He hand passes it to the congestion. And now he hand passes it to more congestion. This is good hand passing now for the Giants. They've managed to get it out of the congestion now. Giants play picks it up. What's he going to do? He's going to kick it short. And that's a good kick to the 50 metre area. 55 metres out. One minute 33 on the clock. If they get another goal, the Giants are it's just going to be all over from here. Kicks it inside the ball. And there's the mark. 
to Mumphy, big mummy man, 48 metres out, and he has missed. And now it's an even two goal game with a minute 21 on the clock. What an exciting game we've got here. One minute 20 to go. 13 is going to kick it out from the goal square. He's going to have to go with the big barrow down the ground, and that's exactly what he does. Geelong need to go, go, go. They need to get their go boots on. They need to get going in the next, well, 20 seconds maybe. And then they need to hurry up and get another one if they want to try and draw this game. Well, what's going to happen if it's a draw? We might have to go to golden goal. There's one minute to go. He kicks it from 50. It's a goal to Jimmy Bartell. And it's one goal the difference with 55 seconds to go. What a game. What a game. Two super goals. Seven goals. Seven, 67 and nine, seven, 61. But the Giants have got the ball in their hands. That was almost holding the ball. Kicking on the board. But it is at the wrong end for the catch. But they managed to pick it up. Kicking it along down the ground. They've got two of them. Motlop takes the mark. He needs to kick it to number 30. He's running down the ground. 37 seconds to go. What's going to happen? Where is he? Tommy Hawkins tries to dive for the mark, but he couldn't quite reach the ball. Giants are going to mop up in the defence. Who's going to get it? That kick was good. 26 seconds to go. The Geelong Cats need the ball in their hands. They try by one goal. Keats at the centre of the ground was a beauty. 18 seconds to go. You think it's all in vain for the Cats now. 15 seconds. They need to hurry the hell up. Not sure why he's not contesting the ball. I think it's going to be all over. The Giants are going to be going to the preliminary final. And the Cats are going to be risking going out of the semi-finals. It's all over. And that's a mark, and he's going to have to kick after the bell. The Giants have managed to win this game by two goals. And the end of it, Jammer Cameron seals it up. What a game at Giants Stadium. <laughs>